Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, a bit of a state of emergency this morning. Um, I kind of woke up in panic and let me just tell you why. It's gonna escape for a second time! Oh. What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today I have a bit of a fun story time slash in the moment vlog uh, about when my leopard gecko escaped his tank. And actually it's kind of like not a fun story time, it was more of a slightly stressful experience. And this was a couple weeks ago, and I just filmed it on my phone and I never posted it. And then I was going through my phone and realized I had this footage and I wanted to share it with you guys. So a couple weeks ago I was feeding my leopard gecko before I went to bed as I normally do, gave him all his doobie roaches. He was eating, he was happy, and he had a full belly and all that. And so I finished feeding him and then I went to bed as I normally do. And so I thought everything was fine because it was just like my normal routine. And if you would like to see my leopard gecko daily routine, feel free to check that out up here. But the point is I fed my gecko, I went to bed. So I have a nice rest. I wake up in the morning, everything's fine. The sunlight is streaming through the window. I mean, not really that. I'm taking artistic license here, okay? This was like several weeks ago. Anyway, I wake up in the morning, I go feed the chickens, and after feeding the chickens, I come to my desk area here with all my animals to check on everybody, see how they're doing. And the first thing I noticed that was kind of off was the fact that these doors on this enclosure, normally you can see down here, there's like a lock. There's a latch on this, and I noticed that the latch was undone and that the door was slightly ajar. So I was slightly concerned. I don't think the gecko's strong enough to push the door open though. So I very, I guess you could say trepidatiously. Is that a good word? Hey Siri, what does trepidatiously mean? Here's what I found. No, oh, I don't think trepidatiously is a word. Trepidation, nervous or fearful feeling of uncertainty. Yeah, that's exactly what I was feeling. So I very, with much trepidation, I open up the doors to the tank, kind of just crossing my fingers that he was just in his hide and that he hadn't noticed that the door was unlocked. So I'm looking through the tank and I'm just moving his hides around, kind of checking stuff out. And I check his warm side, I check his cool side, I check his humid hide, I check behind the humid hide. And this gecko is nowhere to be found. And as a pet keeper, you kind of just know that feeling or if you haven't experienced this, that, this yet, at just at some point, when you're pet keeping, you will experience kind of just like this sinking feeling in your stomach. And I double checked, I triple checked, and the gecko was not there. And so at this point I realized, oh my gosh, I need to go find my gecko. And so I just started frantically looking around and I, like this is a pretty far drop. This is about three feet high, I would say. And so I was scared that my gecko had lost his tail. I was scared because I had no idea where he was. Thankfully, this is kind of just like an enclosed space in an enclosed room. So I like immediately shut the door to the room to make sure that if he was roaming around the room, he wouldn't be able to get anywhere. So he's somewhere in the room. I start freaking out very frantically spent about five minutes just searching kind of on the floor, moving stuff off the floor. Finally, after about five minutes, I found the gecko and I realized she wasn't going anywhere, so I picked up my phone to take a quick little video, which I'll go ahead and show you now. Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, a bit of a state of emergency this morning. Um, I kind of woke up in panic, and let me just tell you why. I'm checking on all the animals, right? And then I realize that Kuzan's door is like slightly ajar, so I'm looking in here all frantically, just like, where's Kuzan? Okay. <gasps> He's not in his hide, he's not over here, he's not under here, he's not in that hide, he's not here, he's not in the corner. And so I have, the only option I have to believe is that somehow I accidentally left the enclosure open last night, which I've never done before, and I forgot to latch the door. Stupid, right? Okay, so I'm looking, looking all around. And there we go. Thank goodness I did some searching. And I don't know if you can see right there, my little gecko, he's right under there, so I gotta retrieve him. I'm glad that he fell and he doesn't seem to have dropped his tail, he just seemed to be chilling. I don't really know the best way to do this because I don't want to like grab him and then have him run away. So I think I'm gonna try to take everything off of the top of this and then take the wood off the top of this because then I can actually lift up this piece of plywood and then be able to actually see him like you can see. I go like that, 
you can kind of see underneath. So I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. I see you, sir. All right, there you are. Back into your home, you crazy guy. I cannot believe you. He fell from this all the way down there. Thank goodness he still has his tail. Understandably, a little bit flighty and stressed. Thank you for being in a place I could easily find you. Yep, so he made it back into his tank, everything was fine, and then right after this I actually had to run to class, so I'm glad I found him in the time that I did before I had to leave, because otherwise he would have just been roaming about the room, and then it would have been a lot harder to find him. I think I was so lucky that he just fell, like, straight down and must have just seen, like, a little dark space to go hide, and that happened to be very close to the origin of his escape. So... I don't really have another Houdini on my hands because it was kind of my fault he escaped. Um, but just to serve as a reminder that for one, anyone can make mistakes and this was just a very dumb and like simple mistake and my gecko went missing, but thankfully I found him. And for the most part, reptiles are very hardy and you can usually find them. Just close the door, close the window. Anyway, as you can see, he is safe. He is healthy, he is happy. Look at that too with his beautiful fat tail. Basically, the moral of the story is make sure you lock and close your enclosures every time after you take your animal out or you feed them or do anything where you have to open it because otherwise they will take the opportunity to explore. Honestly, that could have ended pretty badly because with such a big fall, it's about like three feet, maybe even three and a half feet if you include this lip from this to the bottom. My biggest fear was that he had lost his tail and thankfully he still had his tail attached because that's like a pretty big amount of stress so i kind of just put him back in the tank left him alone because he was very i'm sure stressed after that i mean wouldn't you after falling i mean this must be at least like i don't even know how he's still alive how do how do reptiles survive falls like that because i know if i fell down a building that was five times my height i probably would not be okay <laughs> yeah that would not be a good thing so i'm very glad that he's okay Reptiles are just pretty incredible, but I guess this is just kind of your reminder that we all make mistakes and also to remind you to make sure you lock your enclosures because you do not want to have a gecko on the loose. Okay, time for you to go back. Go back to your enclosure. There he goes. Goodbye. Also, I would like to just show you these live plants that I got for my gecko. These are snake plants, Sansevieria. I just got like three different varieties and they're just beautiful. You can also see there's one right here and there's one in the back there. They're super duper cool and I haven't killed them yet, which is great because I've heard they're low maintenance. So we're crossing our fingers that they survive. Look at her. She's so pretty and she's real and she's alive and it makes me happy. Anyway, so that's the little story time that I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed the little bit of a roller coaster that it was. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Also, huge shout out to all the patrons who helped make this content possible. If you wanna get me a Christmas gift, that would be a great way to support the channel. Just saying, just putting that out there. Um, and actually, the next time you see me will be Friday, December 24th, which is Christmas Eve crazy that it's already the end of December and almost the end of 2021. Um, so I hope you guys are all having a wonderful time celebrating whatever you celebrate in this month of December. It's not actually Christmas yet, so I can't technically say that. But until then, happy holidays and have a totally awesome day. Bye!